we see electric potential energy right electric potential energy is just like the gravitational potential energy right so but electric potential energy occurs between two charged particles or two charges right so let's take two charges uh, q1 and q2 are separated by a distance r in vacuum right so then the electric potential energy is u is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 by r right so where uh, epsilon naught is nothing but the permittivity of free space Right. So, this electric potential energy can either be positive or negative. Right. So, uh, it depends upon the charge. When these two charges are like, means they both are uh, positive or they both are negative, then the force is repulsive in nature. So, uh, the electric potential energy is positive, positive. Right. Uh, when these two charges are unlike, these two charges will attract each other so that the uh, potential energy is negative, right? So, uh, it depends upon the charges. It depends upon the charges, right? Uh, and the charges are calculated with coulombs, right? And 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant, just like capital G or a universal gravitational constant. So, uh, the value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing but 9 into 10 power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square. Coulomb is a unit for uh, charges, right? And uh, epsilon naught is nothing but the permittivity of the free space. This is about electric potential energy. Next, mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is denoted with capital E, right? Uh, mechanical energy is nothing but the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy of the body, right? So, mechanical energy is a type of energy. Uh, it is not a type of potential energy, right? So, uh, mechanical energy is nothing but the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energies of the body, right? So, uh, its formula is E is equals to K plus U, where E is the mechanical energy, K is the kinetic energy and U is the potential energy energy right so a uh, body can have e without having either one of the k and u uh, means uh, if the body has only kinetic energy then it has no potential energy so uh, the uh, mechanical energy will be equal to the kinetic energy because the body does not have potential energy the uh, in place of potential energy we will substitute zero so e is equals to k plus zero which is nothing but e is equals to k Right, so uh, the uh, mechanical energy will become uh, on kinetic energy. Right, uh, if the body does not have kinetic energy, it has uh, potential energy. Then the mechanical energy will be equal to the potential energy. Right, so in place of k, we will substitute zero. So uh, indirectly, it will become e is equals to u. Right, so and this is about mechanical energy, and this is the about the concept. For. In next video we will discuss about